Hello again, welcome back. It's the Darkest Dungeon. We have names for people. Incidentally, I did spell Holmesy right. But apologies for thinking I may have not. Uh, we're going to call you Dutch. I'm going to call you Viva Phonics. Slowly running out of names. I think I have one left uh, before I have no more friends. But that means I have 13 friends, so screw you, that's more than you. No, uh, I'm joking, of course, I uh, don't mean any disrespect. <laughs> uh, let's do a mission. Shall we do a higher level mission than we had? <clears throat> we can't really do an A-team mission. Let's have a look at our new things. We have a bandage here. We also have sniper shot. Suppressing fire hits three things and a fear of Eldritch. And Cove Tactician isn't useful yet. Um, okay. I think that just debuffs things. As well as having some accuracy. It's not high accuracy. Uh, there's a mark. And that's 50% damage versus mark. So that works against that. That is a bandage which it looks like can hit everybody except the last one. And then Viva Phonix here has Wicked Hack. Iron Swan is a good one because it does a decent amount of damage to the thing at the back. Took it out. Door. Less 10% damage if HP is below 50. Obsessed with Sainthood. I'm not sure what that means. Plus full speed on first round is really good. And plus 10% match, match HP is also really good. Uh, the Yawp is a stun on two things, which is actually quite nice. And, uh, and then a bleed. So we like bleeds, but it's a uh, two points around rather than a one point around, so that's a decent bleed. Uh, let's roll with a slightly higher DPS, lower healing run. Dutch can go uh, either the back or next to the back. We'll figure that out in a second. We can go with Viz for once, whose preferred position... I mean, these all work, but there's a... Basically, you don't have to select the skills that you take with an abomination what happens is you transform and then half of them are for beast mode and half of them are for uh, human mode well humanish fizz mode uh, cool cool and one more space can be for I mean we could take Jekry out again do Jekry and Pete have exactly the same no you've got emboldening vapors and you've got disorienting blast well if we're going for a DPS run it'd be good to be able to have as many stuns available as possible to give us a little bit of control over when we hit what basically manslayer she's a man eater no it's just spend on walking okay uh, we can go to the warrens and we can go to the cove again that's new we can't go to the darkest dungeon itself that's okay I'm happy not going to the darkest dungeon for some time someone here has a benefit we've got ruins plus 15% damage which is going to be very good if we're doing a damage you run. We've got plus 15% damage in Cove. And that's it. So those are our benefits are going to be the ruins and the Cove. We've not been to the Cove yet but it's quite a lot harder I'm aware. A short 100% of rune battles is what we did in the last episode. It's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to want to take at least one shovel I think. I'm not sure how many obstacles there are. I assume there's like some sort of obstacle in every thing. Take uh, a couple of shovels. A key just in case we find a chest from a reward from maybe the last room. I'll take extra torches because part of me feels like you're not going to find many torches in the cove. Just lying around like we were. Uh, maybe some medicinal herbs and some bandages and then 12 food? What do you think? Too many? We can use it to heal, so it's more valuable now since we have scant healing of our own. Let's just go for it, let's see what happens. At some point, um, I think we'll probably do dark runs. That's where you don't take any torches. Um, you do crit a lot more, but you're a lot more likely to be surprised and the enemies hit harder. But you get a lot more rewards. These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. Pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's head off. It's a nice straight one. There's a trap right here. 60, 50, 
50, 70. Eww. Sucker! <laughs> Mechanical hazards. Check me. Possessed by evil intent. Seriously. I like how there's a patch of ground there. This is what this is for. Wow, okay. I was expecting to get way more food, but actually we got a deep Oh trinkets. <laughs> you can have that. Should have put trinkets on before we left. That was a minor mistake, but I haven't really played a game too much recently, so. Let's use the torch before we go in here, for whatever reason. We did get some scouting to begin with, so maybe I should have known that there wasn't going to be any uh, combat in there. Let's have a look in here. Let's open it. It doesn't say it's locked, so I'm not going to use a key. You sort it out. Thank you. I hope you get better at that over time. And again, we'll open this because it doesn't say it's locked. Ooh, that hurt. Okay. T-I-L. Probably use bandages for that. I was going to say, I should use a bandage before you take a spot of damage, but no. Hmm, where next? How about in the door? Look. I try... I say that I'd like to, like... I, I name the characters the way I do, because I treat them like I do in real life, and everyone's got a little bit of personality. But if they're going to keep going on like this, I'm going to treat them as their own characters. Uh, I just get slightly pissed off with them. Oh, you can't hit that one, because there isn't one at the back. That's alright. So we'll yowp. See if we can get both of these into stun lock mode. Right? Yes, good. Uh, okay. That's fine. I've got manacles, which I think can hit this one. And it does some damage as well. If I can stop this one from attacking anymore, then maybe we can get out of here without too much stress. Because it causes stress when you, um, when you transform. Noxious Blast does blight four points around for three rounds. Which is going to be... Very valuable on these two, I think. Probably on this one. One of these is going to have more prop. Let's actually click on it so we can use it. I think that's a good idea. Four points around is quite a lot of points. We can't snipe with the one at the front. But what we can do is mark this one for death next time. And hope that it doesn't get to go first. It does get to go first. At least the stressy one didn't go first. That's what was worrying me. We can stress heal ourselves. Hmm. Or we could blight two things. And reduce the blight resist. Or we could just hit it. Let's just hit it. Yeah, I like that. There's a lot to be said for keeping it simple. That's a play grenade on two things, that's okay. Uh, we don't really have any blights or bleeds, so the medicine is not as valuable as maybe your attack. And there is a stun here as well. We could stun now, or we could just go for the blight on this and see if it, see if it survives the next round. Oh, okay. Uh, that's Wicked Hack. Right, you have got 11 HP, and you're going to lose 8, so you will get one more attack. But I think we can tank it. And then this one will just die straight off. I think. Okay, it didn't die straight off. That's upsetting. So you get a go. Gargling grab does nothing because we dodged it. Whew. I mean, I think that was uh, a valuable thing to have done. But I basically didn't need to attack that at all. So this one would have died. Never mind. We learned. The actual likelihood of doing damage to that was something I needed to find out by trying to do the damage. Good, no corpse. We've got a little bit of stress on somebody else, but I'm not entirely concerned. Do, do, do. We might as well go for the uh, self-heal. It gives us some HP and a little bit of stress resist, which undoes some of the stuff that that bastard did. And we can still snipe shot this son of a bitch and kill him anyway, so I think we did a... Uh, we made the most out of that last round, certainly. Maybe not the most, but a lot. Trap. No trap. Ah. Another mariner. I was right. Another there are misfortune. things getting in our way. Well, I'll open this. I'm wondering whether this loot counts as, you know, that. Shift click to reduce torch. Shift control click to snuff out torch. You can just click on it to get more torch. Okay, cool. It uses a different stack, of course. If you press T, it uses that one. If you click on it, it uses that one. Excuse me. Kind of anticipating hunger at any moment. Trap. Nope. Oh. 
Ah, oh, torch. Okay, dude. Okay, doke. I'll try to stack these properly. Oh, hello! You're surprised. That's what I want to see. Sewer slash. Don't know. Sewer slash. Does it. Do these skills at the bottom get chronicled based on what you find out? I assume so, because I've never seen this before and it has no skills. So this is sort of a, a memoir to help you. An aid memoir. Let's, uh, in that case, stun the one I don't understand or recognise. No, it actually... Um... Oh, it tells you prop. I see. Now that we've got something with prop, it tells me the prop. Good. But that was a 50% stun chance. We still failed it. In that case, we blight, this blight the shit out of... Yeah, the one in the middle. Check cream, make it so. We can also, um... Try stun too? We can stop these from having any go at all. You resisted again. That's, out that's outrageous. You don't have any prop. So you're gonna get a go, so I'm gonna try and kill you on the next round. That doesn't make sense now I think about it. I should have used the one that doesn't get a go. Uh, whatever. They're both probably gonna attack. Well, I didn't have much HP, but it had a lot of protection. That makes sense. Yeah, you're both still gonna actually get a go. So we will Noxious Blast. Oh, let's try uh, curing somebody or something. What's our heal base here? One. <laughs> okay. Or we can stun something. And shuffle. No, shuffling doesn't make a difference here. They're the same unit paradigm. Uh, maybe we can stun the other one? No goes at all for you this round. Yeah, perfect. And your stun comes off. Well, an average of one go fewer, I suppose. Wick attack this one. No, the other one. I moved him round. That was dumb. Never mind. I moved him round. That was dumb. Never mind. Alright, note to self. We're learning. That's the important thing. <laughs> this particular majigger can't shoot that one with that. So don't try. Disorient you? We can't. Okay. Guess we heal one? We'll just not just blast this and hope it dies on the next round. Two plus what I think is four. Ah, oh, five. That's a shame. What have we got here? I'm not going to transform unless it's strictly necessary, I expect. Okay, let's get rid of it. The thing is here, that um, blight, it wasn't going to kill it, but we didn't really have the opportunity to only do one damage and still have something valuable happen next. So we never got the value out of that blight, except for the fact we didn't take stress by skipping the go in the first place. Uh, dum -de dum -de dum We don't know if there's combat here, but we have torches above 75, so there is no combat. Okay. There's got to be combat somewhere or we would have completed the quest. Although, quite how the quest knows that it's been completed. Yeah, that's worthwhile. And I did bring two, uh, two shovels, so... That's <laughs> that's my clairvoyance done for the day. I should really remember to sort this torch out In radiance, more often. Victory. Ah, this may be the last one that we have to deal with. So we've got two stress-producing enemies. I think you do stress, but you also buff this: accuracy, damage, and crit. So we probably want to get rid of that, or at least stun it. Your stun is 25%. And ours is 125%, so that's some awkward maths I'm not going to do. We've got a good chance of stunning both of these, is what I'm saying. Yeah, good. Unfortunately, they're not surprised, but we can't win them all. And now we get the opportunity to play two things for four points each. That was one, so that's four. So, you know, they're probably dead. Yeah, you're dead. You're de They're literally dead, just not yet, right? We can hit you, which could stun you. So now no one gets a go. You are not quite in death range. You are in death range, but you'll die on the next turn. So we don't need to hit you, you'll never get a go. Sorry. Then we will... Sniper's Mark... You don't, you don't get a go, so next time you try and attack, nothing will happen. And hopefully, you'll be last on the next go as well. Uh, heal? That's a fucking heal! I call bullshit on that, mate. Right, so we have to get rid of this one. 
Hmm. Let's buy all these. Stack up the uh, stack up the dots. Yeah, six damage per round is actually quite a lot. By anyone's reckoning. Seven, four. So this would be eight damage per round. So next time you get to go, you're dead. So as long as you get to go before you get to go, you'll be fine. Well, we'll be fine. You'll be dead. That was ten damage. That's a lot. Probably could have handled this a little bit better. Not realising that that thing can do a heal did not help <laughs> at all. So you're going to die, you're going to die. You've got 2 damage per round and you've got 12 HP and you're a horrible thing to deal with. So... Stun again? I feel like I could do damage with you more valuably than... You've all had a go. And our Arbalist still has a go. You missed! You're not supposed to miss! Alright, Dutch. Shoot that. Shoot it! That was a very silly thing to do. I am quite tired. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Right, you're dead. It's not a disaster. It's just... Not very clever. <laughs> You've got debuff. Stun this. Please stun that. Right. So that one's dead, and that one doesn't get a go. You have to stay there so you can actually shoot it. Here you go. Medicine. <laughs> one. At least feel like we're doing a little bit of value, right? Sniper shot. Actually shoot it. Do a shitload of damage. Very worthwhile. Thank you for playing. Please hit it. Thank you. You don't get a go because you're basically last. So we just do this. Now I could have probably healed myself and got some stress relief, but then I risked that thing attacking and making it worse. So I thought maybe I shouldn't do that. A marvellous aura. Holy what? No. I don't really have anything else, so... Inspires the hero. Very nice. I am absolutely a fan of that. That wasn't the last um, room battle either. What is this? Its colour looks slightly off. Nope. Anti-venom? Nice. So I guess that would have been uh, worth using someone else to do, but I didn't know what it was going to do, so... As the right gains purchase, <laughs> spirits Shush. are lifted. Trap. Yeah, and okay, purpose okay. is made clear. I mean... This... I think this can also inspire people. Or it can do the opposite. Deviant tastes. Is not allowed to visit the brothel. Jetcree. <laughs> Seriously. How have you managed to get this reputation? This one. Not saying it's well deserved. Just wondering where it came. That was a, an excellent stun. I didn't even check the chance. Uh, very low. Stun resist. And we will plague grenade at the back. I do like these play grenades. Four damage around is a decent amount of damage. And how come you are not all going at the same time? Surely you've got the same speed. Ouch. Yeah, so these are um, these are being added in the skills at the bottom here. So the ones that we've seen as we see them. I'm going to uh, heal myself, actually. We didn't need the stress heal. or well, we kind of did. But not as much as we did before we drank that water. Uh, before we read the thingy. Suppressing fire. Debuffs everything. By a lot. Yeah, less, li less likely to hit. So we're going to dodge these things if we're lucky. And we get even more on these. So these are probably going to die before they actually get to have their go. Uh, no, what? Four damage for two... What? Did you resist one of them? You died. You must have resisted one and I wasn't paying enough attention. You're going to die at some point, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Uh, well, I guess we um, put the dots on you two. Please don't kill anybody. I mean, the HP doesn't matter, ultimately. This is the last round. As long as nobody actually dies, we can tank as much damage as is necessary. That's two damage per round. This is six damage per round. So we do need to do a damage to you, but we have got one attack left. What can you do? Can you hit two things at once? You can hit the two at the back, but it doesn't actually do any damage. 
I'm new Ken Battlefield. You could bandage somebody, maybe. Okay. Well, we could stun them. Let's just. <laughs> you missed it. That's not what I'm here for. We'll have to bandage. I mean, do we? <laughs> do we really? Suppressing fire doesn't help. Sniper's mark doesn't help. Yeah, we should bandage at least you. That was no good. And you're the one who can heal yourself. I'm just saying. Could have done better. Okay. You are not going to die, unfortunately. Let's stun you because you've actually got a lot of... Oh, we can't. Okay. Crikey! Why are you so bad at throwing stuff? In that case, we should blight this one because it's only got two. That'll be six. And you've got nine HP. Goodness. We haven't done any damage to that one yet. Heal one. Cure blight and bleed. That's no good. Or we could disorient just any of them. Like, as long as one of them doesn't do an attack, I guess we're better off. Doesn't matter which one doesn't attack, is what I'm saying. You're at death's door now, but we can keep you away. Because we have got some food. As long as nobody actually tries to kill you. Good. I don't know what seaward slash attacks, but it's never valuable, <laughs> I've noticed. Uh, I really want to just kill one of these. You're going to die on your next go. You're not. I mean, you've got a go, and no one else here has, so you can heal yourself. So we'll try and get some of the damage off, the, some of the incoming damage off the board, rather than the, um... Death Store Recovery is a massive debuff. Not a fan of that. At all. Please actually successfully hit this thing. Very good. Right, so they might get a go. This one won't. What are you on? Seven damage. So we need to do three if we get... We need to do three damage if we get this to attack. Which we might as well do, and then just hope... Well, now we need to do two damage from somewhere. So all you need to do... is hit. <laughs> Problem there was it either hit or it didn't. We might as well heal. Sure. There you go, 3 HP. And a buff. Well, that's actually very valuable. This expedition that Guess we'll take all of that. We will continue adventuring and we'll open this chest, which I anticipated with this one key. Which gets us more... crests. That was a good run. Let's leave. Could have handled a lot of those things a little bit better, I think, but... Not having a good idea about what's going to happen. Like when that thing got healed for 10 and I thought it was going to die on the next turn. Things like that. We can, um, you know, we can anticipate in the future. Unquiet mind, that's okay. And that's pretty good as well. So no one got any really bad things. This limits where they can go. But it's not a big deal. And we can start thinking oh, about... Yeah, this good. Place. We can start thinking about um, sending out an A-team run again, because everyone's sufficiently de-stressed. But uh, D has Unquiet Mind, which is true of life. So D can't uh, meditate, because when she tried, she got pissed off trying. But that's okay. We can literally beat that out of her in the sanitarium if we want to. Are there any quirks that we want to get rid of before we send out an A-team run? Yes, that. <laughs> This causes things to happen while you're walking around. So those curios. I think we saw it. Uh, Ed will open a pack or a, a, a chest or something and just keep the stuff. Irrespective of whether it's uh, trapped, it, it, you won't even get the opportunity to unlock it. Not allowed to gamble, don't care about that. I think egomania may cause you to use stuff as well, or to keep stuff, or, or, or to maybe take an a go out of turn or not give me the opportunity to choose what to do. But that's uh, it's okay. I mean, fragile and off guard are not brilliant, but you're more of a support character anyway, so as long as you can keep you healed, that's fine. And then we've got what have we got? 12 people? So that's three teams, basically. And this one, I think this actually worked out really well. We did send. Who did we just send? <laughs> Yeah, 
Jet Creep is Dutch and Viva Phonics. It's actually a pretty decent team. But I'm wondering whether Dutch's um, heal here stacks. Plus 20% heals received, you see. So next time it does better and better and better. Which is decent. So if we can level that up, we can level that up to some some a higher value actual healing. So we can. Alright, no. No, no, no. This one. Let's put Dutch in here. What does this cost? Allow skill up. So we need more portraits, obviously. It's always the one we don't have. And this will allow us to hit harder. Uh, reduces cost. We might as well do that now, because having end, cheaper every stuff. Plan relies upon a strong arm it's and valuable. Tempered steel. But I think we've kind of got like SG1, SG2, SG3. Except SG3 needs a better healer, basically. I mean, Psycho is not a valuable healer either, because you can't hit the back position. If we took someone and then someone else who can heal themselves in the back position... Don't know. With a few more, we can try and get some actual healing rolls. Maybe a, 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 a cultist and another Vestal, and then we can have four teams of three and a healer. But we've got two decent DPS teams, and I think that's valuable. Um, we've got a lot of cash to spend, and we've got plenty of quests, but, you know, nothing else. So we're going to have to go out on another mission. We did win this. Bounty Hunter. We don't have a Bounty Hunter. Uh, let's just bring all these back. There we go. Decent amount of stuff here, which I'll try and remember to use in the next run. Uh, but I think we'll leave it there. I'm ready to try more DPS runs in future, and maybe a uh, low-light DPS suicide mission or something like that. Maybe if we get a bunch of level zeros, we'll just send them out. I know I said I wouldn't do that scummy thing where you dismiss something, but if they die, that's different, right? It's just cannon fodder, but dismissing them from the stagecoach, from from the barracks, when you've brought them home safely, seems a bit rude. So we send them out to die, rather than send them out to be alive and go home to their family with a bit of gold. Yeah? Makes sense? Cool. Well, I will figure out the next mission in the next episode and until then do take care do take care do what you want god uh and i'll see you then <laughs>